Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to use the decal aging tool in Substance Painter. First things first, drag the SPSAR file to Substance Painter and set it on the base material. Once you apply that to your 3D model, an initial texture will show up, but don't worry, it'll disappear once you add your decal. You can add any sort of decal in terms of its geometry. Here, I chose a square-shaped decal. If you add a rough material for the background, you might notice some height map details from the background layer appearing on the decal. But no worries, you can easily get rid of them by enabling the height channel of the decal. Let's get to the parameters. There are two ways to transform the decal, but never use both together. You can either alter the defined parameters of the tool or use the UV transformation of Substance Painter. If you use both, the frame will be fixed, and it will limit the transformation parameters. The next parameter group is Torn Surface, which is enabled by default. By manipulating the parameters, the shape of the torn area can be changed. Actually, there is a combination of some default grunge maps that create the ripped area, and these torn parameters are related to them. Here, the grunge map can uniformly and non-uniformly be scaled. Let's see how it works in action. As you can see, when you alter the rotation, the grunge map will rotate. Also, the offset and scale of the grunge map can vary like this. By enabling Use Custom Grunge, you can set your preferred grunge like this. Also, there are two presets, namely Clean and Default. Next up is the Torn Edge, where you can create torn edges and customize them as well. Then we have Wrinkle, which is also enabled by default. The different parameters in this group allow you to modify different aspects of wrinkles and create different styles. Don't forget to use micro wrinkles to make your decal even more realistic. Moving on to the scratch category, which can make different sorts of scratches on the surface of the decal. Now, let's see that glue effect in action. First, create some torn surface, then customize the pattern and color of the glue stain by playing around with the parameters.
With the pale group, you can make some weathering effects like desaturating and adding white and yellowish colors. And then there's dirt, just use the dirt category to alter the amount of dirt and stains on your decal. After that, the normal intensity can be altered as well. And increasing the surface noise intensity results in more visibility of the paper texture. Last, roughness can vary and can simply be controlled. So it is almost done. And hey, I almost forgot about the crack category. Just like the other categories, there are various parameters to design the cracks. You can install the Substance plugin through this website and use this tool in other software like Unreal Engine, 3D Max, Maya, Cinema 4D, and Blender. For purchasing this useful tool and other interesting products, check my store. The link is in the description. Alright, thanks for watching, and I hope this video helps you unleash your creativity with the decal aging tool.